okay. Ish. I'm not a liberal. I'm, I'm more social. I'm okay. Liberal. Socialist yeah. and liberal are different words, and I think conservatives confuse that a lot. They are completely different things. Okay. Okay. No. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here into a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook debates socialist college students. Okay, there's a full video. Uh, I call him Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's go right to today's video. Um, I'm a UVM student. I was uh, talking to you before. I'm sure you noticed that. Um, but I'm going to try to keep this simple. Heckling, yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm just going to hope you respond in a way that's not so just conservative talking point and more of a conversation way. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Sure. Okay. <laughs> So before there was a question about like Native American communities and treaties and stuff like that, and you were talking about how historically Native Americans have been kind of like screwed over by the US government and stuff like that. Don't you think that that history will impact how Native Americans live today and make it more difficult to succeed in America? Don't you think that would influence that? Well, I suppose a question I'll ask back at you, we've made tremendous accommodations such as sovereignty of Native American land, an entire department of the federal government dedicated just solely to that. Do you recognize that there's been great efforts to try to accommodate that? I recognize those efforts, but obviously they haven't worked. Because so why haven't they worked? Because it's either not enough or the way that we're doing it is in, like we need to treat it more as an equity thing instead of just saying, oh, it's a culture per, like instead of blaming it on people's like individual working and like make like change it societally and help them in a way that actually matters so you do know that there's universal health care at native american reservations right yeah but it's not very good because they don't have access to because it's socialistic no, no. <laughs> they, they have universal health care in plenty of european countries and it works just fine the re the flaws of the native american so, so, so I'm curious, how did Vermont's experiment in universal health care go? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not from Vermont, so I don't know these things. I didn't hear your response. Say that I'm again. I'm not from Vermont, so I don't know these things. I moved here like two months ago. Yeah, I still, I still can't hear what you said. Say it one more time. You're, you're wearing a mask. It's kind of hard. Can you say it again? I moved here like two months ago. I'm not from Vermont, so yeah, I don't okay. know these things. Right. So Vermont tried single payer. They had to abolish it. It was a total disaster. So look, I think the best way that to help Native American communities is to help all people through empowerment and education. Instead, we tried a heavy-handed government approach of intervention of the Bureau of Native American Affairs, of universal health care. And if you want to go see a socialist dystopia, go to a Native American reservation. I, I, maybe you have. Maybe you worked on Native American reservations before. I've been to plenty. They're, they're depressing. They're government addicted, unfortunately, in more ways than one. They're very, very corrupt. And this is something I want to ask you. Would you self-identify as a socialist? Is that fair to yeah. say? Yeah. Okay. Ish. I'm not a liberal. I'm, I'm more social. I'm okay. Liberal. Socialist yeah. and liberal are different words, and I think conservatives confuse that a lot. They are completely different things. Okay. Okay. No, no we don't. So uh, I, I'm, I'm just curious, as someone who would say you're a socialist, what would be a country you think works well that's a socialist country? There are no socialist countries right now. There are no so has, it, ha has there ever been a socialist country? Truly socialist? No. Okay. So, let me, so you your, view, your world view is on something that's never existed and currently doesn't exist? Is it, too, is it, a, is it a bad thing to be like pro-change? Okay, so just, just so we're clear. No. Um, yeah, the type of change you're advocating is horrifying. Um, but, <laughs> so, it's never existed, doesn't, and so, I would say Venezuela, Cuba, North yeah. Korea, formerly Vietnam, the Soviet Union, those, were, those are not and were not socialist countries? Those country, the disastrous effects in those countries were directly contributed by U.S. intervention. <laughs> There, was a, there were multiple coups done by the CIA in All those right, countries. So let, let, let's take, hold on, guys, hold on. Let, let, let's take, let's just, I'm just curious. And so how on earth did Fidel Castro taking over Cuba have anything to do with U.S. intervention? There was plenty of like sanctions. Like economically, Cuba was completely cut off. There was no, they tried to assassinate him plenty of times. There were no, no, so no. many the things the The fact that the they're communist. Did. Yeah. We had what to do with that? We didn't have anything to do with that, but we after they after a communist regime took over, they had a. Yeah. So yeah. let me ask you. So 
So, you're, so first of all, Zimbabwe was not communist? Burkina Faso, Thomas Sankara. Say that again? Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso. Before he was assassinated, he was actually How like... How about Mugabe? He wasn't a communist? How about Joseph Stalin? He wasn't a communist? He called himself How about communist. Mao Zedong? He wasn't a communist? Yeah. Pol Pot? Plenty of terrible people have called themselves plenty of different names. North Korea, oh, so you get North to be Korea the judge. Got it. Right. So I just want to make sure we complete the point. You believe in something that doesn't exist, has never existed, and even though the people that call themselves the things that you believe, you say they weren't really that, which is the most important point. Socialism is always judged against an impossible utopia, and they judge markets against a reality. And here's the truth of the matter that markets, which you enjoy comfortably in Western society, is the most proven affluent creating machine in human history. And I would just challenge you to do one thing. Please stop believing in a utopian nightmare and start looking at things around you that are good, that are true, that are beautiful, that work, and are consistent with the natural law. You'll, you'll be a much happier person if you do that. So guys, the best way to help Native America is to help them through empowerment on education. That is basically the, like, the main thing. <laughs> It's as simple as that. It's plain. You can see it is written there. Empowerment and education. There's the best way to help Native Americans. Um, I, I like the student's point of view. What she's saying is, I know she's a socialist and she really, really believe in what she's fighting for. But the thing is, if you believe in socialism so much, you should go to countries who support that, like Venezuela and Cuba. And Cuba. I know about Venezuela, you can go there. There are a lot of people who are like you over there that believe in such um, arts and you can actually relate to them much better than being American and still arguing about socialism, that you're in a capitalist country and you are bringing socialism to it. Just go to places that accept socialism. It's as simple as that. Um, Another point is why was she wearing the the mask? Like I could not hear her clearly too. Like the mask ought not to be there. She ought not to wear the mask. Um, she like she should get rid of it, or she, maybe she's sh she kind of like shy of her face going viral. But if I the mic was the mask was actually discomforting. Um, I could not actually hear her very very clearly. But at the same time, I love how Charlie handled her and. Once <laughs> told her uh, socialist, you believe in socialism a lot. Uh, it was it was a beautiful dialogue. It's just that I feel like if she so much believe in socialism, she should go to countries that support and accept socialism, like Venezuela and Cuba. Uh, not coming over yet, trying to like judge and putting her own opinion on everyone that everybody have to accept what she believes in. That's just some, that is something about communism and socialism. They like forcing their opinion on people so that they will accept it. You understand? You're in a, you're in a capitalist country and you're forcing your own communism and socialist and your own communism and socialism to people so that they must accept it. Like, it makes no sense. And she's been, like, judgmental over here too. But the entire video was actually beautiful. I love her. Charlie saw her for who she is and actually handled her properly. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all over.